Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be using IOD's new Christmas mould to create some Christmas ornaments. We're using the Jingle Mould, the Blitz and the Holly Lane Mould. We're using IOD's air dry clay and you can find a full product list in the description of this video and you can grab all these products on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Let's get started. First ornament, we're using the Blitz mold. I am dusting my mold with some cornstarch and then using IOD's air dry clay and working it into the mold. You could use resin for this as well, but I am having some fun with the clay today. I actually really like how sometimes the clay gives a bit of cracking. It really sort of suits that vintage sort of look that I'm going for today. So I'm carefully working the snowflakes out of the molds and then setting them to one side. I'm working with some little plastic ornaments that I got from a craft shop last year and I'm using Gorilla's super glue to attach my molds and I'm just very carefully pressing them down so that I don't damage the details. For the next ornament, I'm going to be working with the jingle mold. I'm casting the forward facing deer first, making sure I dust it well with cornstarch and working my clay in. Now, you wanna be very careful when you cast this guy because his little antlers are quite delicate. So it might be a good idea to use resin if you're not very confident with the clay. I've also heard it suggested that if you place your mold in the freezer for about 10 minutes before you take it out, that it makes it a bit easier. I'm also going to cast a little bow to go with the reindeer and a couple of the little jingle bells. For this ornament I'm going to be using a couple of the holly lane elements. I'm just picking the smaller little holly pieces and casting them in my clay. I'm grabbing the jingle mold again for this fourth ornament and I'm going to be casting one of each of the bells and also two bows. Make sure when you're finished with your air dry clay that you put it in a Ziploc bag. Next I'm using Dixie Belle's drop cloth and a soft brush to very carefully dab on the paint. Now I'm using a chalk paint so I'm not worried about adhesion and I'm just being careful not to damage any of the details on those molds. And once I have my paint on there, I'm actually using a little mug tree to hang my ornaments off. This comes in very, very handy and I'll show you a closer look in a little bit. I will be doing two coats of Dixie Belle's drop cloth on these ornaments, letting it dry in between. Dabbing my paint on instead of brushing it on will give me a nice eggshell finish. So this is the little wooden mug tree that I'm using. It is very, very handy so that nothing touches my ornaments while they're still wet. I'm now spraying on a quick coat of satin clear coat so that when I move on to my next step, I can wipe back any mistakes. For the snowflake ornament, I'm using Dixie Belle's pearlescent glaze. This gives the ornament a really beautiful shimmer and shine. So I'm just dabbing it on and working my way around, being careful not to damage the snowflakes. For 
for the holly ornament, I'm using Dixie Belle's kudzu and brushing it on the holly leaves with a small artist brush. And then I'm coming in with a damp cloth and wiping back the excess to give it more of a faded look. For the holly berries, I'm using Dixie Belle's Barn Red and brushing it on with an artist brush. I won't be wiping any of this back. I really like the bright pop of red that it adds to the holly. On my reindeer ornament, I'm using Dixie Belle's chocolate chalk mineral paint on the deer. And then I am going to be using a damp cloth again to wipe back the excess. I am then going to be using Dixie Belle's barn red again on the uh, little bow. small jingle bells I'm using Dixie Bell's rebel yellow chalk paint and brushing it on this is going to be a great base for the gold that I'm going to add a bit later on the bell ornament I'm using the rebel yellow again on the larger bells and I will then use barn red on the bows as well I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's Grunge Glaze to age my piece. I'm just carefully brushing it on and then I am wiping it back in areas where it's too heavy. I really want the glaze to set in some of those recesses. You guys know that I like a bit of a rustic weathered look. So if you don't like that, this is probably the part that you would skip. be adding the grunge glaze to each of the ornaments except for the snowflake ornament which we have already put pearlescent glaze on.
finally, I'm adding Dixie Belle's gold gilding wax to the reindeer's antlers, to his little face a little bit, to the bow. It's really bringing out a lot of those lovely details. I'm also adding it over the top of those little jingle bells that we painted earlier. And then I am moving on to the holly one and I'm adding that just lightly on the leaves and the holly. And I'm also adding it to the bells and the bows on that ornament and finally I'm also going to be adding a little bit of the gold on the uh, snowflake ornament as well just really subtly I'm also adding it to the little silver attachments up the top um, where the little string goes I'm going to add some buffalo check ribbon to the top of my ornaments and just tying it in a little bow and then I'm going to add some twine which is what the ornament will actually hang from when it's on a tree. Here are the finished ornaments. I'm really happy with this project. I think that these molds are so beautiful. There really is so many things that you can do with them. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments. If you like it, I'd love it if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you'd like to see more projects like this or furniture makeovers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. You can find all of these IOD and Dixieville products on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Thanks for watching.